Okay, so we are on 7.2 trig functions of real numbers. So we're remembering the unit circle from the last chapter in 6 and from the last section uh, that we just did in 7.1. Remember these are the quadrants, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Remember that all things are positive in this one. Remember that sine and cosecant are positive in this one. Um, everything else is negative. Remember down here, tangent and cotangent are positive, but everything else is negative. And remember that cosine and secant are positive here, but everything else is negative. Remember, apple, soda, toga, cow. All students take calculus, either one you want to remember. Go ahead. Trig functions in the unit circle. If sine, cosine, and tangent fall in the unit circle, then here's how you find those values again. It's x and y. Sine is y. Cosine no problem. That's x. Tangent is just sine over cosine, right? Or y over x. And then cosecant is just you flipping it, so it's 1 over y. Cosine is just you flipping, or secant is just you flipping cosine, so it's 1 over x. And cotangent is just you flipping tangent, so it would be x over y. Okay, so if you remember that sine, um, or cosine is x and sine is y, if that's what you remember. Tangent should be easy, because you should remember that tangent is sine over cosine, so you can fill that in. And from there, if you remember the reciprocal formulas, they just flip all over the place. And that is it. All my life. So in example one, a point x and y are in a unit circle, and they correspond to the real numbers negative 3, 5, and I believe that is 4, 5. Find the six trig values. Because I'm telling you that it's on the unit circle, you know already that x is cosine and y is sine. It's that simple because I already told you it's on the unit circle. So sine is y, which is negative 4 fifths. Cosine is x, which is negative 3 fifths. So to find their reciprocals, you just need to find the flip them, basically. But tangent is negative 4 fifths over negative 3 fifths. But remember, two fractions is like saying multiply by the reciprocal. So the fives cancel out. And the negatives will even cancel out, giving you four-thirds. So all you need to do to find the other three trig functions is just flip them. So cosecant is the opposite of that, so I flip it, so I get 5 over negative 4. Secant is just you flipping that, so it would be 5 over negative 3. Tan or cotangent is you just flipping that, which would be uh, 3 fourths. And there are your final answers. So, example two, if sine is 3 over 5 and tangent is less than 0, find the six trig functions. Well, here's what you know. You know that sine is positive and you know that tangent is negative. So where is sine positive and tangent negative? The only spot is in quadrant 2. It's the only spot. That's why, if this was in a unit circle, notice how my triangle opens this way. But anyway, we know that that was in quad 2. That's why the triangle goes that way. So only sine and cosecant are positive. So that's 3, that's 5, because remember sine is opposite, right? Opposite over hypotenuse. So we need to find out what that is down there. So to find out what that is, that is 4, right? Because it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle, for those of you who don't remember, or you could do the Pythagorean theorem, which would be a squared which is 3 uh, plus b squared, which we don't know, equals c squared, which is 5. So it would be like taking um, 9 and subtracting it from 25 to get 16. And when you square root it, you get 4. But anyway, we know sine is 3 over 5. No problem. Um, now, because of this, we know cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is 4 fifths. And because the only thing positive we said was in quadrant 2 is sine and cosecant, that's why those are the only positive ones, and I put a negative right out in front of that already. And um, tangent is opposite over adjacent, so that's 3 over 4. And like I said, I put a negative there because, once again... Um, everything's negative except for those first two. All you need to do is flip your answers. 5 over negative 4, negative 4 over 3, and there you go. Doing it. Okay. Um, example 3, if cosine of 12 over 3, um, and you know um, it's in quad 4, find the six trig functions. So that's my, why my triangle goes down this way, because if this was the center, this would be down in 4. So adjacent is 12 over hypotenuse, which is 13. So um, when we do this, I do Pythagorean theorem to find out that that is 5. 
That's all you need to do. So it's 12 squared plus b squared equals 13 squared. So it's 169 minus 144, which is 25. When you square root it, you get 5. So that's how you got 5. But anyway, we have all of these. And in quadrant 4, um, cosine and secant are all that's positive. So this is 12 over 13. So that would be 13 over 12. But opposite is 5 over hypotenuse, which is 13. So it's 5 over 13, but it's negative. So it's negative 5 over 13. Cosine we are given is 12 over 13. And tangent is opposite over adjacent, which is 5 over 12. But 5 over 12 um, is going to be negative because in quadrant 4, it's negative unless um, said otherwise. Um, and cosine and secant are the only positive items. So to find the reciprocals, you just flip them flip them and flip them okay so example four um, we will continue with when we come back here